Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're back to playing Unsung Kingdom. So, in the last part, we defeated Sodenbach, and now we're gonna start the epilogue. So, let's get right into it. Hmm, things have finally calmed down. That was quite the ride. I'm glad the king defeated the dragon. Me too. How about the history book? Hmm, is the king finally safe this time? Yeah, I think he was safe finally. I can feel it. Let's see. Um, oh, look! The king fulfilled his destiny and lived out his days in peace. And King Edgar doesn't die for another 20 years. That's... yeah. Y yeah. We finally managed to save him. I'm so glad. I wonder what happened to our era. Wait, Anne. You can't keep reading. Oh. I guess we'll find out whenever we make it back to our time. Alright, let's go home. I'd really like to. Huh? We haven't recovered the time crystal yet. Oh, that's right. Hmm, what can we do? Our only act option is to look for Jack. He wasn't at the Temple of Greyfield. Hmm, I wonder if he died when he fell in the catacombs of St. Actus. Hmm, considering there's no more plots to kill the king, it's very likely that Jack is dead. That makes sense. But I feel like he's still alive. Yeah? Hmm, I trust Anne's instincts. Let's go and find out. Let's do it. Edgar the Peaceful. Epilogue. Hmm, one more quest. The king has fulfilled his destiny, was in peace. Nice. I'm so happy I want to read it over and over again. Hmm. I always like this town. Hmm, I'm sure you already know. But his master's majesty defeated Sunbar. I'm so glad. I am too. And now we'll live in, we'll, we'll have peace again. By the way, there were rumors that it was not actually the king who defeated the dragon. His majesty is no, long younger, no longer young. Perhaps it was the prince who defeated the dragon. Or even an unknown knight. But that doesn't sound as good, so the king was given credit. The most bizarre rumor is that some traveling girls killed the dragon. Ha ha ha. But I choose to believe it was the king. It doesn't really matter anyways, does it? I mean, kinda. Oh look, the three from the Temple of Greyfilm. Is it really? Yes, they must be the ones who saved His Highness at the temple. Huh? Why did he run off afterwards? Oh, um, we're just busy. His Highness wishes to thank you. We're here to give you this letter. Perhaps an invitation to the castle. Please take a look. Let's see what he wrote. Wait for me in the royal garden. That's it. Hmm, what is that? Strange. Hmm, the garden was lo the location of the first assassination attempt. Hmm, I don't know, but we have to go. Hmm, can you believe it? King Edgar defeated the dragon. I'm really proud to belong to Berlin today. I no longer want to think about it myself. I mean, I think it's okay to give back to the people. I mean, it made me think about things. Hmm, it turned out exactly as I predicted. King Edgar actually did it. Well, to be honest, I did have my doubts. But King Edgar the Peaceful has defeated our realms 
defended Algon's peace. Every citizen of Belion is proud of our king, especially me. Hmm, the power they're supposed to be King Edgar defeating the dragon. What's wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're finally at peace. Yeah, we are. And I'm very happy about something else now, too. Which has been on my mind for so long. What happened? Well, I finally talked to Annabelle. I did something so strange. Is that so? What? Well, it's a secret. I'm just glad we can get along again. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, thanks. Ah, you're in a pleasant mood today. It's a great day. I'm glad the kingdom will remain peaceful. I'm so happy about that too. That too? Well, there's something else. Really? Did you know, uh, Matilda? She always hiding. She was always hiding in the shadows, staring at me. Oh, that girl. What happened to her? She said she likes me. Huh? I mean, I always knew. I'm just so happy she was finally direct about it. We have plans to do something together soon. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, they're gonna go on a date. Hmm, Royal Gardens. Let's go. Hmm. An assassin dressed in a black robe, according to his hi royal highness, were to shoot the assassin on sight. An assassin dressed in a black robe. On Ah, you came. Why are you here? I was the one who sent you the summons. Huh? That face injury. Let me introduce myself again. I'm King I'm the king's younger brother, Prince. Ethelbald. I'm so sorry. I lied. I used my sword against you. You of all people, you tried to kill the king so many times. Fuck yeah, it's correct. Oh, no doubt. I plotted to kill the king. Please let me explain everything. You know that the king fought the dragon ten years ago, yes? We know. Yes. Ten years ago, the king fought against Sunburg and sealed it in the Temple of Greyfield. But about half a month ago, custodians at the temple, uh, Greyfield, told me that the dragon was awakening. Sunburg was under the king and wanted revenge. I went to the temple of Greyfield many times to negotiate with Sunburg on behalf of my older brother. I persuaded Sunbok to not seek revenge on the kingdom in exchange for whatever it wanted. I offered everything I could think of, but Sunbok's wishes were consistent. The king's death in exchange for leading the kingdom in peace. Eventually I gave in. I agreed to Sunbok's demands. Regretfully, I thought I would save the kingdom at the cost of my losing my brother. Oh, that's awful. Do you remember the first time we uh, ran across each other here? That day I was trying to kill my brother. But you three stopped me. And I robbed you of this crystal. The time crystal. Hmm, this is clearly a wonderful, wondrous artifact. Soon after that day, this crystal took me to another world. I didn't know what had happened, but soon I realized something. I was here, but in a different era. Was it the era when you came? Yes. The crystal connects two periods of time. You went to our time. What did you see there? This royal castle. 
in ruins. Our entire kingdom was destroyed. Uh-huh. That shouldn't be. I saw it with my own eyes. It was unquestionably the work of a dragon. Sun Park burned down our kingdom because I failed to kill my brother that day. That's... I don't know what the kingdom's future was like before you came, but I knew that Sunburk's wrath had to be contained at all costs. I understood that much. So even after returning to this era, I kept looking for the another opportunity to kill the king. But in the end, you stopped your attempts on the king and faced Sunburk yourself, right? I changed my mind. Originally, I had never thought of defeating a dragon in the first place, but after you changed, challenged and defeated me in the catacombs, I decided to confront the dragon with my brother. In the end, I broke and you helped me. It was the king who defeated Sunbark to begin with. That's right. I decided to try and help him do it again. Anyways. I no, I no longer had a choice. I'm sorry to call you here like this. I thought there might be trouble if I didn't return this crystal. Thank you. What a surprise. I still haven't wrapped my head around it. I'm glad to finally learn what you were doing. You have always been a mystery. And then... I'm glad you reconsidered the assassination at the end. Now that we've finished our purpose here, we wish to go home. Honestly, I was a little worried we would never make it back. But, you can rest assured that this area is one of peace. Yes, you shouldn't have to worry anymore. Come on, go home. Yeah. Goodbye. And my role is over. I won't run from the gods. The times shine brightly. Our peaceful kingdom, ruled by King Edgar the Peaceful. Hey, over there. The assassination in a black robe. Don't let him get away. Shoot. So do it. A king. A, and a kingdom sung of through the ages damn hmm I don't know what to think about that um I didn't think he'd actually die So my thoughts on the game. Um, there were actually two parts that didn't have any music. And I'm actually kind of disappointed. That could have easily been a point where they could have added some music in and made it quite um, atmospheric. Um, one where the last part in the temple was some book was and then the other one was when uh, the king's brother died um, they could have had some somber music um, I do think that there should have been some more quests and more quest variety to be fair um, I would have liked a weapon um, that would have done party healing um, like there was only one in the whole game when there should have been maybe two or three and you could have had lower attack stat as long as you compensate uh, with the other stats um, Hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. That's just what I think. Um, I really like 
all of the enemies, the designs were actually really unique. Um, unfortunately, with a game like this, the attack patterns were quite samey, and there's nothing you can really do about that, unfortunately. Um, it's just what it is. Um, but, I don't know, I like the game overall. I thought it was a really nice experience. The story was amazing. Um, for what it was, the lore was actually pretty good. And there was a few little, like, um, side, um, stories going on with, like, the different, um, characters. Which was actually quite nice to follow them along. I will say that, um, the characters we, that reappear in the, um, throughout the levels, in the final level, um, I kind of feel like them showing up was more of a fanfare thing, rather than something that was, like, necessary. It didn't make sense in a lore aspect with like um, one or two characters, but otherwise they just really didn't need to be there. But um, anyways, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>